Uh, look, the offseason has officially started. It started last night with the last seconds winding down. So Shams, give us some scoop. Uh, yeah, uh, the Pelicans, uh, they're, they're a team to really keep an eye on going into the draft next Thursday. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm told they're going after Scoot Henderson. They want uh, Scoot Henderson in this draft. Right now they're at 14. They're not going to get him at 14. But when you look at the picks that it'll take to get him, two or three, most likely the two, uh, the, the number two slot. They're having conversations with the Hornets, I'm told, about getting that number two pick. Question is, how does a trade work? And do the Pelicans look hard internally at moving Zion Williamson? Uh, would they move Zion Williamson? I think those are the those are the big questions. Um, I don't know if the Hornets would do number 14 and a package of future, future first round picks. The the problem with the with the Pelicans is this core just has not been able to be healthy uh, over the last couple of years. And when you look at Scoot Henderson, this guy's athletic. He can pass. He can score. And I think more than anything, you're starting to see teams that have worked him out, that are bringing him in, that are considering him, uh, and even the Pelicans. They look at him as a franchise-type guard, a guy that can be a culture program builder for your team. He brings that toughness, the grit, uh, the energy for you, uh, and he can really set the tone. Uh, the Pelicans would love to have him be, the, be the, their lead guard. Um, so we'll see what transpires between now and Thursday. You like that idea, Chandler? The idea of Pelicans with Scoot? I do. I think this kid is the most NBA ready draft prospect this uh, this coming June. Um, I, I think depending on what they can give up, if you remember the beginning of this year and even last year, how exciting this team was in the future with guys like Alvarez and Herb Jones and Trey Murphy with that big three of Brandon Ingram, CJ and Zion. It's there's always going to be the question is Zion healthy and how can we keep him healthy? I don't, I'm not ready to put him in this, in this package to Scoot. I'm not ready for that. But yeah, the idea of Scoot Henderson, Brandon Ingram and Zion, uh, throw in CJ McCollum in that package with the picks and, and one of those young assets. I think this team is right there. I think they got a great young coach. I think their future could be very, very bright. And I agree. I think this kid is, I think he's the rookie of the year. I think he's the most ready. I think he's the most physically gifted uh, you know, player that's get, that's going to get high minutes, and so yeah, I would love to see him in New Orleans paired with those guys. But I'm not I'm not ready to put Zion in that trade if I'm if I'm the Pelicans. No way. Yeah, let, let's let's say the quiet part out loud, right? The, the, you're not doing this trade for C.J. McCollum or Herb Jones or Trey Murphy <laughs> and some picks. If you're doing this trade, it's for Zion Williamson or maybe Brandon Ingram. And so if, if, New well, if New Orleans has progressed to the point where they're considering trading either one of those guys, that's a reset. We're restarting a team that was jumped out to a, a big start early this season that we feel like can really contend with the pieces they have. You're, you're trying to reset. So that's very curious to me. But if you're Charlotte and they ever put Zion Williamson on the table, if you hesitate for a second to get away, to not have La, La, uh, LaMelo Ball and Zion Williamson on the same team in that uniform for a team you're selling – Oh, no, like you have to do that immediately. So if that's ever on the table, I don't care what the deal is. You take Zion. I, I love Scoot. I love Brandon Miller, but I need Zion. I don't, we're not doing the mystery box here. I see the boat. I want the boat. So I'm taking Zion up on the Hornets the moment he gets offered in this trade. Uh, anything less than that, I, I'm riding it out with Scoot or, or, or Brandon Miller and, and seeing what we have there. But that's way too enticing. So if New Orleans, if New Orleans has got there, hey, I mean, it, it, that's where it's at with them. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, Ingram, Scoot, that's that's enticing. But if they're moving on from that core they already had, that 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 that's shocking to me. By the way, props to y'all for keeping it totally profesh through that entire Zion Williamson uh, moment. And I respect <laughs> all three of you.